Interesting. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing Static Figures and what he can bring with Joy-Con Boys. If you're a Joy-Con player and you're a Joy-Con boy, give him your power. He's going to run up against Puppe, which is one of the top seeds of the tournament. Yeah, and like, I'm expecting to see a lot of Squirtle here. You know, Zosu always has had kind of an issue hitting these smaller characters. As well as, you know, he can rack up, rack up the percentage so quickly against most characters with Squirtle. You can see, like, slowly wrecking up the damage, but switching over to Ivysaur. Got static figures to that mid-percent. Oh, my God. And just like that. That's why you go to Ivysaur mid-percents. He's just gone, and the up is coming out. He recognizes he doesn't have enough time to switch back to Squirtle. Just says, I don't want to get caught on Charizard against Zero Suit. I'll just stick with the Ivysaur for the second stock. Okay, well, gets a grab. Forward throw, and what's the left trap? Rolling past Puppe, able to escape. Ooh, and that was unfortunate for Pepe that he didn't land on the platform right there because we would have seen something like that. <laughs> Double up air. We're going for four up airs? Okay. He looked for just a repeat of the first stop, but now Zard coming out, gets the back air parried, but calls out the jump over him with the forward air, and Tether just not working there for stack figures. Yeah, very unfortunate, but Pepe, giving Pepe the time to switch back to Squirtle. Just continuing the... The aggression coming from Pepe. Yeah, great neutral air, just anti airs him. Or air to airs him, rather. Alright, grab for stack figures, but he's really not going to get a whole lot off of it. It's true. Back at mid percent. Oh, good air dodge escaping the up air, but he still oh got my hit. God. And Pepe's just been sniping static figures with these vine whips. Pepe showing, showing the strength this early in the morning. These kids, man, they have too much energy that too early. Seriously, I'm jealous. <laughs> Where did my youth go? <laughs> okay, we're, we're, going we're, into we're game still two. playing a uh, children's party game, right? You know, we still have a little bit in us. Yes. Eternal youth. Okay, game two. Puppe and static figures. Now, static fi Puppe didn't really give static figures a lot to work with as far as, like, adjustments go. Uh, so I'm curious to see like how he's going to try and combat Puppe's aggression. I but right now Puppe just starting off really strong once again here with the Squirtle. Gets him quick 53, 61%. Looking for a forward smash too. Right, well you knew that uh Stack Figure was gonna fall off the ledge, you know, putting him in perfect S smash position. But Stack Figures was ready for it. Okay, getting a little bit of damage, but these Ivysaur, this is where all the kills come out. Yeah, looking for the razor, or the yeah razor leaf into the up air, not gonna connect. Hey, forward air, trying to land with the up B. Another forward air, landing for Pepe, and just another vine whip, gonna be able to take that stock. Thirty-eight percent. These first stocks have gone so crazy good for Pepe over and over. You know, it's just hard to make a comeback in general. Oh, oh, I like the ledge cancel up B or up air. Fair looks for the vine whip, but good DI on static figures. Not going to get caught with it. Back air to land, but vine whip not going to connect. Covering the jump option with another nair. Oh, oh and he stage spikes. I'm pretty sure he was dead because of the air dodge, but still. You know, just in case. Just, just make sure, you know? Hey, sometimes you got to secure the kill. Make sure it's, Make sure it's done. Ivy can recover from so far away. That's right, and Puppe's working on a three stock right now. He's working on a six throw. stock this set. Oh, you're right. Six stack. Come on, stack figures. Can you get one here? And with all the, these big hitboxes that Puppe's been putting out, it's going to be difficult for stack figures to weave around it. Yeah, it's very difficult once Ivy Sword starts taking this big lead. Ooh, a couple of mistimed up is trying to get a landing hit but and that'll be the six stock for Pope. yeah it really can't be landing on ivysaur no you don't want to be above those, not not with those big box hitboxes you do not want to be anywhere above